Thanks, Rhea. One of the most exciting things for me, I personally like best about an ATV ride like this is that it's a trail that I've never been on. Haven't done a lot of ATVing out in Colorado and I'm willing to bet most of you haven't either. So why don't we explore this trail together? Let's go. We are at the Rainbow Falls area. We're riding all over Rampart Range and we have approximately 700 miles of trails in this system here. If you come to Colorado, you expect to see mountains and snow and we're getting it today. Ride today was great. Great Colorado ride. Start off sunny, beautiful out. Had last night's snow on the ground. Came back in almost a blizzard. Well, the trail was a little bit sloppy. But we made, a, uh, we made a go of it, and we made sure we stayed on the trail and didn't do anything that would damage it. Colorado Springs. The days grow long, and the blossoms evidence the warm weather already on the doorstep. Travel a half hour to the west on Highway 24, and spring looks a little bit different. The now snow-covered Rainbow Falls Trail starts as a fairly simple Jeep road, but quickly turns into one of the most grin-inducing rides you'll ever take. The trail narrows to 52 inches and you head up into the trees, weaving and bobbing back and forth, descending quickly into worlds of white and then ascending into clouds in an unknown trajectory. The trail is wet and muddy, but that doesn't deter this group of riders as representatives from local clubs, conservation groups, and one of the largest ATV dealers in the state hit the Rainbow Falls Trail for the purpose of an enjoyable day coupled with the goal to keep these trails open. We're doing an awareness ride for how to do the right things on the trail with ATVs. The goal of this ride is to broaden the understanding of OHV enthusiasts and teach how it is up to every user to take responsibility for the stewardship over public lands. Proper management is another important facet. The Colorado Trail Patrol is in place to help government organizations better administrate federal routes. Colorado Trail Patrol is an organization where we're uh, recruiting uh, volunteers from all across uh, the state of Colorado who enjoy using OHVs. Basically, we ask them to continue doing what they love, riding on the trails, but also being observant about trail conditions. And then when they get back home, they let us know what they saw while they were out. If there are any problems, trees down, erosion issues, things along that, that line, they let us know and then we work with the staff of the BLM and the Forest Service to help them be more efficient and better manage and maintain our trails. Our adversaries watch every minute on what's happening and if we don't treat the trails with respect, they absolutely will use it against us and rightfully so. We need to honor and take care of our public lands. We have a right to ride on them, but we need to take care of them. The overarching message of conservation adds to a technical ride that is already pretty spectacular, with thin ribbons running through the trees and a group of people who appreciate protecting the trails as much as they do riding them. And it looks like when it comes to riding opportunities, they've come to the right place. Colorado's got so much public ground that people can enjoy. And what's nice about using an ATV is you can see so much scenery in a day. This state has more beauty than you can imagine. So getting up on the trail systems is really the only way to experience just how much beauty this has to offer. You know how I said that the best thing in the world is a new trail? The wonderful thing about a day like today is that it really doesn't matter if you've been on the trail a dozen times, it's going to be a different experience. I think that's what I love about off-roading most of all is that no day on the trail is the same as any other day. Well, I'm Stephen Hewins for At Your Leisure. Now let's get back to Chattanooga up on top of the mountain.